Okay, ten news. I'm Dombi Esther Diana. All right, let's stay on with this developing story around the budget as well as the fuel crisis in the country. And we want to cross over live to Embu where my colleague Moigo William is standing by to give us a sense of what is the situation on the ground. And uh, good afternoon, Moige. Uh, have we seen uh, more and more people getting the very precious commodity that is fuel? What is the state of affairs in Embu? Good afternoon to you, Abby, back in studio. And uh, you have put it right. Fuel now is a precious commodity. And we have been keeping tabs on this particular story since early, uh, since early morning. Here in Embu County, we have seen long queues, especially within Embu town, of motorists lining up to at least get, even if it is a litre of petroleum. I talk of petrol, talk of uh, diesel. And um, uh, especially within Embu town, it is traffic. Uh, it is a snarl up. There are no activities. It is a no-go zone in Embu County. But we have uh, transversed to different, uh, uh, different parts of Embu County. And currently, we are joining you live from Mbere North. To be specific, we are in Chicago. As you can see behind me, uh, we are at a, we are at a gas station. Minimal activities uh, because there is no fuel. But also, apart from uh, the scarcity of fuel, the prices have rocketed in this particular area. For a liter of petrol in this particular area, it goes to uh, from between 180 shillings for a liter up to. 200 and uh, 200 shillings uh, for a liter of petrol. And uh, for now, let me engage a number of uh, residents here of, of Chicago, uh, Kakangu, Asante kwa muda wako Poketian News. Tueleze hali hii vipi hapa katika eneo la Chicago. Kwa jina lako. Ah jina langu naitwa Edward Njage. Sehemu nimetoka sehemu ya Kamugu na nimekuja hapa Chicago kutafuta mafuta hata kwa sababu tangu juzi tumekuwa tukitafuta mafuta na tupati ndio tumepisikia mafuta imepatikana Chicago wote tumekuja kujitafuta shinda tunao kwa saa hii ya mafuta ni kwamba hata mbei yake uwezi yerewa ni mbei yake ni gani mara ni mia mbili mara ni hata 300 inavikisha hata saa zingine unapatanga mtu anauza kulingana na vile anataka kuuza kulingana kama yeye ndiye yako na mafuta kiwa peke yake labda, labda niulize kule umetoka umesema kwa kwa ito Kamogu. Kamogu. ni kilomita ngapi kutoka hapa ni kilomita kumi na moja hivi Ime, na hata wengine wa pikipiki zao zimezindwa zime na kufika hapa wanatumana na wana mitungi ama chupa sababu rabu kule hatuna station tunakujanga wote hapa vile okay. za vile walikunja wengine wakapata wamekosa na walienda nyumbani wameshindwa mpaka hata kufika huko Shikako okay. sasa mpaka wengine tumetumwa tuwapelekee labda mafuta kidogo ndio waweze kufika, kufika hapa Shikako kwa hivyo wewe kuna kiasi ya mafuta unarudi kupelekea wenzako kuna kiasi nimetumwa labda kama lita tatu hivi nimebeba nipelekee zangu mahali wako sahi asanti kwa muda wako ah mwenzangu karibia tuanze na jina lako pia we. hali hivi jongea tu hapa kwa <laughs> siliferi ugesofi morioki mi nimetoka baada wa kageri kageri kilomita ngapi kutoka hapa kilomita sita <laughs> eh, na hapa mafuta kusema ukweli mafuta hapa iko na shinda maana tunapanga raini na unakuta mafuta tunakuta kuna mbei ya 160 Saingine unakuta hakuna ile tunapata tunapata na 180 saa ingine 210 sasa hiyo mbei ya mafuta haina msimamo na hata inafanya hata vitu vingine kwa soko imepanda hata kwa nduka vitu simepanda sasa ningeomba hata hii serikali iangalie upande mmoja kama kuna kitu mahali walekepishe maana hii serikali imepeleka maskini mahali baya Okay. Asante kwa muda wako hapa. Abi allow me to speak to one more resident of uh, Chicago uh, just, just to get a feel uh, kakangu asante kwa muda wako hapa KTN News. Hali hivi pia biashara yako imeathiriwa uh, na ukosefu uhaba wa, uh, wa mafuta? Ni kweli kabisa. Kwa maana ndio yangu naitwa Simon Nyaga. Mimi mafuta imenikalia tisha nunga sababu mimi ni mkulima wa kahawa, nyanya na unaenda kununua mafuta wakati vitu zako zinakauka unapata kwa petrol station hakuna kitu na ukipata mbei ni ile iko juu kabisa 200 210 180 wewe kama mwananchi unasikia unajisikia ukiwa chini hiyo ni kitu kama serikali mimi ningeiomba iturekebishie kama kuna mahali pako na shinda waangalie at least mwananchi wa kawaida aache kuumia huko tunashinda sana siakaro asante kwa muda wako 
Well, Abi, uh, you you have a feel and the sentiments of a section of residents here in Chicago, and we also experienced this early in the morning because as early as six, me uh, t- together with me was uh, Moradi, the man behind the camera, and we were looking for fuel. From 6 a.m., we were able to get to the uh, to the pump to the fuel pump at around nine, and uh, not. Only our residents of uh, Embo County are experiencing this because we engage a number of motorists, some are tra- uh, traveling all the way from the neighboring county of Kirinyaga to come to Embu to get a fuel. Remember, in Embu town, uh, in Embu County, it is only one per, uh, a gas station that currently has uh, fuel, which is causing a lot of panic among uh, motorists and also business people are uh, saying that they have been affected by this shortage of fuel. But Abi, that is all you have uh, from me here in Embu County, and I'll take it back to you in studio. So, Moige, before we let you go, perhaps. Uh have you been able to establish from the various petrol stations why is it that they don't have fuel? And secondly, um, the prices they are charging, uh, has this uh, in any way seen uh, majority of the people being unable to buy? Uh, what, is the, what is the feeling on the ground? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, to the number of... Uh of operators that we have engaged uh, in who are doing this business of uh, of selling fuel, most are saying uh, that the shortage has been uh, occasioned by suppliers. Most suppliers have not been able to meet the demand that they they are having. And also to your second question on whether people are getting to buy uh, fuel despite the change in price. Um, Interestingly, people are still buying this precious commodity, whether it's 150, whether it's 160, whether it is 200, they are still buying and most uh, when they get to the uh, pump station what they are saying is Nijazi tank interesting and uh, to motor especially uh, those who, whom we have engaged majority are the border border operators and uh, despite the high the high price of fuel they're getting to buy this commodity and this has also uh, impacted on the pricing that they are charging their clients uh, noting a distance where uh, they frequently do charge around 50 shillings. They are now charging 100 or even 150, and some are also charging 200 shillings just to to be able to get something uh, out or, or something as a profit out of the uh, out of the high cost of fuel. So most, despite the uh, change in price, they are still getting uh, to fuel their uh, their motor vehicles, their uh, motorcycles, and their vehicles. Abi. And uh, Moige, just uh, paint for us a picture as we close. In terms of uh, where you are currently, um, what is the, how far is it from, say, the your normal station of operation that is, of course, uh, in Embu town? Um, what was it like driving to Mbere? Just uh, give us your recollections. Uh, were you able to see queues, perhaps, in any of the stations along the roads? Um, what was the general state of affairs? Yeah, interesting. Abi, from where we are, it's close to 20 to 30 kilometers from Embu town. That is where we are normally stationed. Uh, and uh, we have uh, traveled all the way from Embu town all the way to Chicago. It is in Mary, sub, uh, Mary North Sub County. And uh, we, we have passed close to, if I can recall, it is close to six uh, gas stations. And most of them uh, I've noticed they have been deserted. No vehicles, no motorcycles, uh, because um, uh, operations, there are no operations. Most of them, no operations. And uh, we have managed to enter one or two of the gas stations. And uh, engaging the operators, they are saying that they have no fuel. Even where we are currently, talking to the operator here, uh, he has, uh, he has uh, told us that by 7, around 6, 7, uh, there will be no fuel at this particular uh, gas station because it's only 1,000 liters that uh, he has as we speak. But people are streaming in here. Uh, people coming from uh, close to 10 kilometers from here uh, to get fuel. So most of the gas stations along this particular route, most of them have been deserted. It's only two that are operating out of the six, only two. And those that are operating, the price that they are charging for petrol, it's quite, uh, it, it is not, it is not uh, the recommended a retail rate because they're charging uh, one they're 
one of the ga few, one of the gas station is charging 180 shillings for a liter. The other one is charging close to 200, 199.9 uh, shillings for a liter of petrol. That is the situation uh, along the gas stations within the Embu um, Bere North uh, Road. Abi. All right, thank you so much, Moige, for that comprehensive update. And we continue to stay on this story, of course, the situation not reflecting pretty well for many motorists. And a number of uh, players in the sector are calling on the government to step up and ensure that they pay up so that uh, they can be able to release their product into the market. Of course, we've spoken to some of the oil marketers who are saying that uh, they need to get... Uh, paid and of course we had from the PS earlier on who says that uh, close to 13 billion shillings is still pending whereas the oil marketing companies are insisting saying it's 32 billion shillings so we 